Oh, there is a bike back there. How did I not see that? Okay, we're going to go and get this bike. I'm sure it'll be fine. I only check the kill feed when I hear the shots. I don't look at it for everyone, but I look at it for a lot of them. I'm sure I miss some, but... Yeah. Depends what situation in my guess. Look, one guy's just got a whole bunch of mutant kills. He's just farming all the AFKs with a mutant. Old star. He just got like five or six mutant kills. What a dickhead. And another one. Just turning up really late to melee base here, but screw it, right? What am I doing? It's a crate game now. It's a crate game. We've got a bike. We're by the circle. It's a circle kind of out of the way. It's a crate game. Man got beef. Screw the melee base. Also, there's nothing, there's nothing quite as refreshing and invigorating as pushing a crate with absolutely no weapons or equipment. That's how real people push airdrops. With nothing. I kind of want to get up onto the side of the quarry to get a good view. Whilst hopefully not getting shot at the same time. Go on, Axe. Fine. You dropped yet? Where'd it go? Oh, it's there. I hope it's not dropped, alright. We're going north with me axe. Definitely not back there, right? No. It's going in the sea. Okay, alright. It might it's maybe the sea or just near the beach. Is this the swamp here? It is, yeah, we've got to go around the swamp. It's fine. Oh, that is, that is well in the water. Okay, we need a we need a boat in boat face. Oh, there's a guy. Shit. Well, if he's coming this way, there's not going to be a boat back the other way. Has he just gone? To, I don't know if he's just. Doesn't look like he's racing to get on a boat or anything, does he? He's trying to shoot me. If you're not boat. smiling, boy. Okay, if he's not got a boat, then we can um, hopefully just steal this crate from him. He's gonna try and shoot me, but that's fine. I mean that's the end of the game, right? Let's see if his bike's still there. I'd be surprised if he's Starts trying to swim it. It's so far out. It's taking all day. There's another boat going for it. Oh, we got no gun. This is going to be difficult, lads. He's going to beat me to it. We can try and run him over. Oh, hey! <laughs> That's the guy who was killing all the AFKs. Eat shit. Eat shit. An AFK killing scrub. I think that was the guy who's killing AFK. So anyway, maybe he just killed loads of people on a hot drop. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely looked like he was killing all the AFKs though. If that's a DBS, it's an orc. There we go. Why can't I take? That is so stupid. Look at this. Let me select the orc. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sorry. That guy, that guy got like four kills in the feed at the same time, right at the beginning of the game with a mutant, and then like another two, like a few seconds later, it looked very. Get on the goddamn crate, for God's sake! I'm very. Oh my god! I don't know how you make them not climb over it. Normally, it's so easy to just climb on them. Do I just not press forward? Is that it? Okay, there we go. Jesus. In the end, didn't we? Where's the three bag? Um, there wasn't one. There's not always a level three bag. <laughs> I mean, he was probably farming AFKs, right? If he wasn't, 
I apologize for telling him to eat shit. Uh, what does everybody feel about the points for the skill-based rating? Um, I think they've improved it since it started, but it still has room for improvement, certainly. Um, and they are making more changes to it. They've said that, so we'll see where it goes. I feel you could lose more points for bad games. Yeah, I mean, I think... I think the amount of points, I think the changes that will likely happen and probably the feedback we've been seeing. Should have probably left that, but it's all right. If this drops in the water now and I've done that, I mean, we could probably ram it back in the water with the bike, can we? Nope, it's not going in the drink anyway. Um, I think what, as you get higher tier, as you get into like the higher tiers, you need to probably lose more points for bad games and maybe not gain as many for good games I guess because at the moment you could even at master level you know we could have three or four completely fail zero kill immediate death games with double drop um, and then one like eight kill win and we get like 90 odd points and still gain points from that so or like you know I'd probably get like a six or seven kill top three and probably still gain points on that um, so there's still some tweaking to go I think and they just need to make it a little bit harder to stay at those top, top levels. But they're working on it. Removing, like, increasing the cap you could game in a game was a good start. Because that helped people push up from when they were in a... They were out of their placement. You know, like, I placed really low because I had five crap games for placement. And then it took me a long time to recover that with the old, you know, the old cap. Whereas now, um, it's, uh, you know, a bit easier to, uh, to rank up. See what the other one is. Oh, there's a guy there. That was really dumb. <laughs> I'm like, first of all, you're being shot at by someone with an MK14, which is very dangerous. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <coughs> also, switching seats on your bike while going at pace is quite dangerous. Um, <laughs> I mean, secondly, the very fact that I was shooting at with an MK14 would maybe hint at the fact that Someone has already done that at the crate. No, mate, I haven't got much ammo left in this. Are you up there somewhere? Where are the, where are the balls are you? Hmm. Need some seven off that guy. I'm bait a shot. Maybe we can tank it easy enough. I see him over there. You got a DBS long. Why have you not shot at me? That was me baiting a shot. I mean, he's around that kind of area, but he's just, I just can't quite see his peak. Well, oh, that's a good hit. I think it's that. Yeah, I don't know. Hard to... Hard to get him. It's fine. We've got plenty of vests here, mate. Be patient. He might be like that tree there. Or he's like, oh, I see him. There we go. Patience, patience. You did miss watching Crate Games. Yeah, we haven't done any for a while because, the, uh, well, not until this week. Because we've been doing Crate, uh, not Crate Games, because we've been doing gun skin challenges for so long. Um, 
we hadn't really been doing crate games particularly, but now crate games are, you know, back on back on the agenda. Did no get an agenda. One more hit would have got him. Right, he's medded now. Can you shoot the bike up? It's fine. I can walk. Well. <laughs> oh, hey, friend. How do I not get a tire with that? <laughs> That's the business, isn't it? Just shoot him in the head. Some say it's the best gun in the game. I mean, I would almost kind of agree with that. I, I feel like... It's not like my favorite gun to find in crates. But that's because I don't think it has quite as much... Like That's because the Orm and the M249 have great novelty value that allow you to do things that you just can't do with any other gun in the game you know the orm is just so ridiculously devastating with the damage it does and the m249 has a bazillion shots and blows up cars hilariously but the mk is just such a devastating gun both as a dmr and lol and as a um ar as well running at full auto you come out of there Friend? How far is this next zone? Uh, it's not too horrendous. I don't want to just kill this guy. He's just not coming in behind me. Oh, wow. What are you doing out there, mate? Oh. <laughs> don't really need anything from that crate. up on the crest there that guy's about to bump into on that bike have a quick little boosty before we why did that cancel quick little boosty 30 seconds there's a lad hello hello the lad uh oh well, you're close you're there he hit me didn't he Really want to shoot this guy, but I think we've got to make up a little bit of this ground. Just a, it's just a devastating gun. Just devastating. A little bit silly, but it's like, oh, I've got to get at least one hit on this guy. Oh, he's having one back. Oh, 
I would invincible tires, sure. I think he just got killed by someone else. I just saw some like blood flop appear from there. I'm sure he meant to be able to break that. Oh, there's a guy. Bit of a lucky boy, isn't he? This isn't good. How are there still five people left? There's one. We should have already killed this guy. It's pretty rough. Oh, there's gonna be a guy right there. Please don't notice me. Very little ammo left in this thing, but... There's one guy in there, and there's one guy off to my right on that ridge. Where's the next zone? Well, he's not in it. I'm not in it. That guy might be in it. I've got one smoke to pop. Which we're going to save. I mean, I can use this dip for a bit of cover on Shed Guy, maybe. I think I'd rather just wait till this zone starts moving and try and not be the first to move. Yeah, we're low on ammo on the on the sevens. I should have already killed this guy, but then if I hadn't, then the Shed Guy would still be there, there I guess, but... The other guy's over here somewhere. Gotcha! GG! To the postman. Hey! We did it! Good little game. It was a good game. It was a good game. Wrecking people with the MK. Plus it's got me screaming eat shit at a guy right at the beginning on my first kill. As I, my first kill at that game was pushing a crate with no weapon and running a guy over with a boat. Just want to put that out there. I had a, I had a fun experience.